Harry learned Incendio Duo in his first herbology lesson and collected several mandrakes for Professor Sprout. Hello everyone, you're very welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets of PlayStation 1. We are now entering herbology uh, to complete Professor Sprout's uh, mandrake challenge. So uh, you're very welcome back to the uh, Let's Play again. Um, I just want to also just um, bring up um, um, to the to attention before we start um, this part fully. Um, one of um, my former um, colleagues uh, who used to be on YouTube, um, Eddie Collins, um, uh, he um, unfortunately lost his father um, um, there uh, a few um, not too long ago. So there's a page linked uh, in the description of this video, um, just a charity, a charity in in memory of his father. Uh, so if you uh, donate to that, that would be very much appreciated. So yeah. We are now um, going to complete the mandrake challenge, and let's talk to Professor Sprout. Welcome to Greenhouse 3. This is a mandrake. Its cry is very dangerous, which is why you're wearing earmuffs. I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Of course, the more mandrakes you collect, the more house points for Gryffindor. So you see anything else? Go now, and good luck. So yeah, um... Basically, as you said, the more mandrakes you collect, the more house points for Gryffindor. So, basically, I presume all the Gryffindors are um, going through this challenge like Harry is now in order to get house points um, for their house. Here's Hermione. Harry, wait! What? Speak up, Hermione! Look! That mandrake's being attacked by those giant slugs! Keep the slugs away from the mandrake using your incendio duo spell. Once the slugs are out of the way, use Wingardium Leviosa to pull them out. Good luck, Harry. Yep. So, so basically, uh, we have to get rid of the uh, mandrakes, um, save the mandrakes from the slugs incendio! by using our incendio duo spell. So my one tactic I recommend is try and get the slugs to come towards you, so that way they'll forget about the mandrake. And then once you kill all the slugs. Exactly, use Wingardium Leviosa in order to um, release the um, Mandrake and then you'll collect it. You want to collect, as, as she said, Madam Sprout said, free. Um, but I'd always try and aim for five because that gets you the most um, house points um, towards it. Uh, towards yours, uh, that's always good. I always recommend trying to get the most as possible um, in order to like you know increase our uh, house points uh, tally scores. So, yeah. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of these kind of enemies um, around the place, and here's Puffle Pops, which which were in the first game, uh, which you can throw about just in the words of Hagrid. Puff Pops, good front to throw about, a Hagrid. Like you know, um, we'll see more of Hagrid's um, notes l uh, later on in this part. So yeah, um, so I always come over here just to uh, get my bean count up as well. So yeah, I'm on three, three, four, eight now, and I go back towards the main path now in order to um, save um, more Mandrakes. So yeah, um, this is a different um, to the PS2, for example. Um, I believe we don't uh, actually do Herbology in the um, second game. We do um, Defense of the Dark Arts, which we'll do later in this game. We do Transfiguration, we do Charms. Uh, we actually don't do Herbology for some reason in the PS2 game. And we, but we do flying, interesting enough. That's, in, that's what I find interesting. That we do flying. In PS2 version, where we don't do um, herbology, it's very easy to for the mandrake to get, get killed. So you gotta be careful. So yeah. So yeah, as I said, you want to get these slugs to kind of come towards you, so that way they can avoid the mandrake. So here we go. Yeah, there's a great. I love the scene, by the way, in the film of this, where like you know the mandrakes are in, but yet yeah, Neville uh, faints. You know he has the earmuffs on. Um, Mr. Meant to protect him, and then the funny scene, you know, when they all don't know what to do, and one bites Malfoy in the um, the f his fin bites his finger. It's quite funny. So yeah, um, that's two mandrakes done now. Now this one is can be quite tricky. So you want to see if there any beans here? No, there isn't. So yeah, try and get the mandrake over here. So yeah, um, these slugs take a bit longer. These ones here. So I think around four hits. So yeah, so I want to try and keep keep this one out here, for example. So yeah, um, there's like four uh, four hits, so they're a bit more annoying. Uh, these ones here. 
uh, because they're like more hits. Wingardium Leviosa. So yeah, up we go another Wingardium Leviosa here, and then get another Mandric. So yeah, um, I, as I said before, I definitely think with the uh, uh, cups in this um, uh, game that kind of makes the, the spell challenges, you know, where you have to connect it to your wand, uh, actual point to it. Kind of feel like in the first game that there wasn't really a kind of a point to it, but now in this game there is an actual like point to it because uh, you know you have to you have to you have to do it in order to get a trophy. So like you know I think there actually was a good decision to add cups to it, like you know that way then there's justification in um uh, basically for the um, racing um part of the game. So yeah, and uh, there's actually a really nice area by the way. I have to say you know um the herbology in areas in this game. It's very nice. I think it's very, very nice. Um, very scenic. Um, I think they've done a good job. Um, the developers. So, yeah, a lot of spy. We're seeing a lot of spiders actually around here. Interesting enough. Is that a hint for later on? We shall, we shall find out. There we go. Straight away. See, this is going to be quite tricky because there's more here, you see? So more to worry about. And then one could be still free to hit you, to hit their Vandrick. Then you don't want to die yourself. See, the Vandrick's almost dead. But then again, I'm almost dead. So yeah, that one nearly died. Look how, like, how close I was to death. To dying because literally if we literally got one more hit that would mean um it the magic would have died because the magic can only take a certain number of hits too um so we're quite lucky there you know so we got four out of five now so yeah we're gonna go on to this next area here and um yeah we'll get thankfully thankfully there's some health coming up here um uh, just here so this is your main health in the game you drink this potion and you're back to full strength. Um, the Wigan World Potion. So yeah. And here we are again. Lovely area I must say. I really like this area. And the music is finally back. I don't know why the music stops suddenly in this game. Doesn't make any kind of sense. So it's quite strange. So yeah. Kill this slug. And we are there. So yeah. Up we go. Uh, one more now. So hopefully like, he'll like, turn around and knows us. He does, yeah. And then try. So yeah, trying to get to come towards you. There we go. That should be it. So yeah, we should get all the mandrakes now because I've managed to get the uh, get the um, get the um, basically yeah, all I've managed to get all the slugs to kind of focus on me and not the mandrake. Wingardium Leviosa. So up we go, and there we go, and there we go, we have all the mandrakes saved, excellent job Harry, Professor Sprout will be mighty pleased with us, so yeah, oh yeah, it's over here, sorry, I was like, where's, where do I go again, no, it's over here, so yeah, um, that is it, that is it, we're almost there, just going to collect um, a few more bits and pieces here, and then that'll be it, so yeah, this challenge is quite straightforward, really um you know just have to make try and get the slugs basically to kind of um come towards you actually sometimes they can be quite sluggish and uh, when coming over to you uh but once they once you get them to kind of focus on you and not the mandrakes it's pretty straightforward so it's um quite a straightforward challenge really so, yeah so reason we have a garden hedge in the classroom it's quite strange so yeah so we're going to come out here now and we're going to there's professor spout waiting for us Superb! You managed to save all the mandrakes. Fifty house points to Gryffindor. Off you go now. There you have it. Fifty house points. That's a, that's a good a total to have in our score. So yeah, um, we're going to come out here now. We're going to do a bit of exploring of the castle grounds here in this part. Um, yeah, uh, it's a, bit, a little bit different to the um, original game. So this is the uh, passageway you come out of, and if you fail the um, challenge no race challenge you can just repeat it in that door over here now for some reason there's no slithering out here to tell you this but there normally is it's nice there's a raven lost unit if you fail the race cup challenge 
Oh, it's Hedwig. What could this be, Hedwig? Hi, it's time to practice your seeker skills. Meet me at the Quidditch training pitch across the bridge from Hogwarts' main entrance. Hedwig will show the way. Oliver Wood. Yep. Herbology class. Hagrid's hut and the Quidditch stadium. So yeah, like um, compared to last last game, over here you had you didn't have your like classroom door. Uh, but I think you had your passageway to the Bean Challenge for nearly headless Nick. Um, so that's different here. And out here, um, we uh, see what well, we come out here now to Hagrid's cut. Now, unfortunately, we don't see Hagrid standing outside. Um, that would be great. mighty, you know, mighty PS1 Hagrid. There's a couple of us on Discord who really love the design of PS1 Hagrid and made a good, you know, fun joke out of it. You know, me, Dante Fanta, Daniel Davis, and a few others. Like, we're quite fans of PS1 Hagrid. Emily Dixon, too. Keep out. Pumpkin patch, Hagrid. So yeah, before there, that you would have let been gone down to the Quidditch stadium that that way in the last game, but this time it's a pumpkin patch. So yeah, we come out here now once again. Um, you got your um slugs here, or snails, sorry. So you got your snails here. Um, got a basically just flip handle them. It's very very straightforward. So yeah, uh, one more, uh, one was there. Up, oh, got a bit hit. It's okay. Yeah, and, we're, and we had and this area is still here from last game as well. So it's a nice, lovely area here now. A few beans now. I don't think there's a card here like the last, like the last time. You expect there a card to be here, but there isn't. I'm going to show you in a later part as well why I'm not. Um, I haven't talked about George yet. So let's see, is, is there a card here? No, there isn't. Just a lovely um, piece of um, lovely, lovely window there, just. Just trying to think. Let's just go out to. Um, I think this goes out to. Oh no, this is the secret challenge, sorry. That leads out to the other one. That leads out to the exit. I try to remember, I didn't recognize there for a minute, but then I realized that, okay, this is a secret passage for the uh, for a, um, for a mini game. Dean Thomas's football challenge for all the footy fans out here. Usually over here is a bit of footy. And Hedwig here. Welcome to my football challenge. This is the type of training that West Ham, my favourite team, uses. If you can kick the soccer ball between ten of those flashing poles within the time limit, you'll win a prize. The timer will begin when the ball goes between the first set of posts. Good luck. So yeah, unfortunately, Dean Thomas follows West Ham and not Manchester United, but we were given, you know, West Ham are doing quite well this season. You know, United, United um, had a um, good win um, tonight in the Europa League, um, beating Roma 6-2 in a... Thriller, you know, it was really good. Um, really good game of football, actually. Really enjoyable, actually. Very easy to watch. So, yeah, this is going to be quite finicky. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's fine. Now, Harry, um, now you're the boy who lives, but can you can you be the boy who also knows how to put um, a football through, uh, through, through these cones or rings, as Dean Thomas called them? So, here we go. So, so I'm quite... Um, see, the ball can run away from me very quickly, so you want to be careful. So yeah. Oh, there we go. That was um, that was a near miss. That nearly missed. Oh no. Unfortunately, there's no, there's no, there's no weird way to like you know, kind of you have to walk to it nearly. Like so, so there's like four left now. For some reason the clock here, the timer in this game is like you know really strange. Can you go good? Go, go. You can't go just really nice. So yeah, so I have to be very careful. I'm trying to focus here. Ah! So you can very tricky here, so sorry I'm a bit silent. There we go. Can we do it? Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> that was close. So yeah, just trying to sneak it in now. There we go! Yeah, so I have to try to concentrate there. Yeah, so yeah, we got through all those um, rings. It was a, almost black, I can't remember, sorry. So yeah, just, we got a nice few handy beans here, so yeah. Off we go. It's a very it's a very tricky enough challenge if you're not used to it. So yeah, that's quite cool. Um, really cool that they added football into this game, so yeah. So yeah, uh, well done, Harry. And boy who lived, and also the boy who can play football. 
So yeah, we're going to leave this area now and uh, come out this way. Yeah, we had a good win tonight, Man United against Roma. Arsenal, Villarreal drew 2-1, as they call it, the Unai Emery um, um, derby. Because Unai Emery used to manage Arsenal, you see, if anyone doesn't know. So yeah, um, so uh, apparently it was a good game by all accounts. You know, it was probably more even match of the semi-finals, but um, it's nice. Yeah, and it's kind of shown here. It's nicely voiced. So we're out here in the Quidditch. Um, this is the same area, Quidditch pitch here. Unfortunately, we can't get into it. But we're going to get this chocolate frog here and talk to this man here. Hey, Harry. Looking forward to playing Quidditch this year? I saw some Slytherin kids earlier. They reckon this year they'll win for sure. You should go and get some practice in the Quidditch training pitch. It's opposite the main entrance into Hogwarts. Yeah, we always be going there later on. We're actually meant to be there now, actually, but um, we're doing a bit of a detour, showing off um, Hogwarts. Um, Hogwarts is, um, you know, uh, grounds. So yeah, we will be going there later on. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to go in this nice area here now. So this is one of the, my favorite areas actually in the game. I actually just. I find it so relaxing with the music, you know, um, just uh, uh, sunshine, just a really nice area to be in, very relaxing, apart from the slugs obviously, like, I think this is such a nice area to be in, one of my favourite areas, pretty much one of my favourite areas in the game, um, I think that it's real beauty to it, like, you know, there's always stream down there as you can hear. I think it's uh, just a lovely area. Like it's really just for beans this area, but I think it's just a nice area to be in. Yeah, just uh, very calm, very relaxing. So yeah, um, we got all the beans here, and now we're gonna go, uh, retrace our steps, and we're gonna go out here, back to uh, basically the start of the grounds, uh, and then we're gonna like you know um, make our way to um, the Quidditch, which. Um, um, I don't think we'll do in this part. Oh, we won't do in this part. Um, we'll do it in a, another part um, at a later date. So yeah, um, I'll come out here again, and we're gonna retrace our steps back. I wish we just saw Hagrid. That would be cool. But Hagrid's coming up, guys. For all those, all my friends who like PS One, Hagrid, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming, guys. He's on. He'll be, he'll be here soon. He'll be here soon. There we go. Let's kill his dogs again. I really wish it. Um, I don't know why these slugs respawn. You don't get any beans from them, so I don't think there's any real kind of um, point in like having them respawn. Um, so it's kind of like a strange um, thing to have. So there's Hedwig. Hedwig hasn't moved since um, we last saw, saw him. Her? Sorry. Her, sorry. I don't know where it was. I don't know where Hedwig, like... Unfortunately, uh, she dies in the... Um, the Deadly Hallows. Apologies if that's a spoiler for anyone, but um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to retrace our steps now through the fabulous Hogwarts grounds. Your Hedwig's going to lead the way to the Quidditch area, uh, Quidditch field uh, where we practice uh, Quidditch. So yeah. Um. Oh, here's Neville. Harry, I've missed Herbology, and Professor Sprout's going to be really angry. Hello, Neville. What happened? I got lost. And ended up coming out this wall behind me. It must be a secret passage. It must be, Neville. It must be. So let us find out now. Um, basically, uh, basically now. Um, uh, oh God, what's that one? It uh, basically, um, basically tries to attack you. Ow! Ow! No! Gotta run! Run! What? No! Damn it, I can't get hit now. Damn it. Ah, I can't see. I can't believe I took nearly all my health away. That's mental. My health's like nothing now. Damn it. So there's a wee secret area here that you find, thanks to Neville. And, um... Basically, like, yeah, um... Basically, like, yeah, just another area for beans, really. And you can't kill that one, now because it, um, gets very angry. Damn it! No! No! Oh, my God! I can't believe that killed me. I cannot believe that killed me. What? Oh, my God. How like how did I get killed by that? No! 
Can't believe that. Cannot believe I got killed by that. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. So I have to, like, um, go back in the area again, get one more bean. But now, what can I do without talking to him? I can, yeah. Can't believe that. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that happened. Like, I, I survived flu powder, but, but, a, but a giant, whatever you call it, got the better of me. Can't believe that. I thought actually that hard, I just for some reason, I don't know, I think it just kept pressing the target button, which is R1. Let's see if I miss any more beans before I leave this area. There we go. Um, any more? There we go, yeah. Thank God, yeah. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I have to get more um, beans now. Yeah, so yeah, um, so yeah, I think they'll, yeah, they'll respawn. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a way to kill that giant one, but, um, what can you do? You just have to avoid it. So yeah, so here we go. So we got all the beans here. And then we shall, um, go up here. Go back to where we came from. Um, retrace our steps. Avoid that, man, this time. Avoid that. No, uh, no, 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 no. And up we go. Out we go. And now he actually starts to get annoyed all for wood because we're late uh, for practice. Harry, hello Neville. What ha I got lost. I've already heard that. Don't you hear it again? Oh, there we go. Harry, I'm still waiting for you to attend Quidditch training. Meet me at the Quidditch training pitch across the bridge from Hogwarts' main entrance, Oliver Wood. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do this in the next part. I'm just gonna show, you, remind, remind everyone again uh, about where the Quidditch area is. So yeah, I'm just gonna show off this um, grounds um, um, one more time. So yeah, um, here we go. So this was a lovely grounds to be. And I prefer much for the grounds in this game compared to the first game. I just think it's a lot more um, it's, uh, nicer grounds. Um, uh, just uh, nicer grounds to explore, nicer, relax, uh, nicer fields. Um, just uh, just nicer grounds just to be in as well. I think. I think that, um, it just makes a huge difference. I just think they're just um, nicer to. Um, uh, basically to walk around in just nice to explore. I used to love exploring them when I was younger. I talked to this guy first. Hello again, Potter. I'm still trying to get into the Quidditch team. Maybe this year I'll have some luck. Could you mention me to Oliver Wood? You are the Gryffindor seeker after all. So yeah, we're gonna end it here. Um Hello again, no, Potter. Just I'm still trying to so we're gonna end it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. In the next part we will be doing Quidditch training. Goodbye.